tracking Hurricane Aaron. The one-time Cat 5 weakened on Sunday, but its outer bands lashed the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico, leaving more than 100,000 people there without power tonight. As forecasters warned the storm would rapidly grow in size and pick up new strength, tropical storm warnings issued for the Turks and Caicos Islands and the southeast Bahamas. The 11 o'clock update on that storm is out now. First alert, meteorologist Sammy Squires joining us in the Weather Center. And we've said for several days now the storm is not going to hit us, but mm -hmm. we will see some impacts in the coming days. Absolutely, and that's just because it's growing in size and it is expected to continue to grow as we head into the next day or so. And it has actually re-strengthened a little bit, no longer a cat five, but it is now back to cat four status with 130 mile per hour wind. So we will continue to see it moving towards the northwest, at least for a little bit longer. It's not until uh, I'd say the middle half of the week ahead that we will be tracking it finally taking that northward turn. So it's going to be very gradual at first and it will continue to stay in these waters that let it grow uh, and continue to be right around cat four status at least for another day or so. And then as we head into Tuesday, it is expected to start to weaken as it finally moves into cooler waters. But this storm is expected to get a lot bigger even though the intensity is actually going to decrease. So we are going to see swells being generated by the hurricane, especially as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. And we'll be watching for the Treasure Coast specifically. Palm Beaches, it's a little bit more protected due to the Bahamas uh, and the way that the coast is situated. But as we head into the next couple of days, we are going to be also watching the high rip current risk along the Treasure Coast. I wouldn't be surprised if it it also extends for our Palm Beaches. So tracking the chance for high surf as well as rip current risks and even the potential for hazardous boating conditions all for our coastline. So we'll break down that forecast and tell you what else we are tracking in the tropics coming up soon. Now you can track the tropics and the local forecast with our WPTV First Alert weather team. Just use that QR code on your screen right now to download the free WPTV News app.